following program is a feature presentation on WELW. The views and opinions presented on this program do not necessarily coincide with those of our ownership, management, or staff. Welcome to Mondays with Malta. Day Batung 2. We're live at Cleats here in Menor, and uh, we wanted to tell everyone, due to the captains winning last night, this show will be aired tomorrow live from 7 to 9. It'll be taped to late and uh, it'll be on tomorrow. So those that'll be on in the air, tune in tomorrow between 7 and 9 on WELW 13.30 a.m. And also, you can stream it on the internet at www.welw.com. The captains should win tonight. They will go to the World Series. So we're pulling for them and... Uh, was an exciting year for them at the tail end of their season. Tonight's the Kirtland Hornet night, and we have the uh, state champs in the house here at Cleats. Woohoo! They're going to be striving for it back to back, and uh, they're well on their way at 3 0. We're going to hear from Tiger Laverde and, and the uh, football players, along with the cheerleaders, and the golf team's going to be here, along with the volleyball team. So we've got an exciting night here playing at Cleats. We're, this is our 10th year on Mondays with Malta, so uh, we're pretty excited about it. Each and every week we go to a different location, but we're home, away from home, right here at Cleats. We love it here. The Sally and his family are so, so good to us, and we thank Chris, and we thank Jimmy and Mr. Sally Anitas. You'll see him walking around all night long. Uh, we can't thank him enough for always hosting Mondays with Malta. Uh, and we got to uh, also chirp in that they, for the fourth year running, named the News Herald High School, not only the high school, the News Herald top sports bar in Lake County. So, uh, you know, stop in, great food, great atmosphere, and uh, lots of TVs to watch games. But four years running, the top sports bar in Lake County. Jay, when I walked in uh, to uh, Cleats, I got to see Lisa Powell. Lisa Powell's daughter uh, is one of the cheerleaders. And uh, last time I seen Lisa Powell, she was probably about six or seven years old. And uh, she's uh, got ch four children herself now. How do you like that? Well, I'll tell you what, Charlie, you look like a little kid, but you're getting old, buddy. <laughs> you're getting old. Thanks, Jay. Jay, thanks for uh, <laughs> chirping in and uh, chiming in for our good buddy, Ray Malavik, who's calling that captain's game. Jay, uh, how you doing? This is your time of year. It's high school football. Yeah, well, uh, you know, and the weather is really, I think, adding to everything. It's just been beautiful, beautiful football weather. Uh, I, I've been to, I guess, maybe four or five games already, but that was before this past weekend when the weather seemed to uh, get the message, the weatherman, on what the weather should be for a high school football game. Uh, there's some surprises in the area, and I, there's, I guess not some surprises in the area, some of the things we have come to uh, expect from teams in our area, which to me is, is, is just fantastic. Uh, Northeastern Ohio football, I, I mean, I love it, I enjoy it. Part of the show now, we'll, we'll uh, have our, my son, the Juice Man, and uh, he's going to tape all these shows uh, tonight and uh, get the replay on Facebook. But uh, if you don't know the Juice Man, go check that picture above uh, that doorway right there under the cleat sign. He designed shoes all over the world, so go to his website at www.juiceman, that's with a G, U-I-C-E-M, and order yourself a pair of the authentic Juice Man shoes because someday, and he already is pretty famous, I'm just happy to have him here tonight and at home. Tonight's program is brought to you by D&W Goods, Dan Phillips, owner, operator, 440 342 D&W will handle all your team needs from embroidering to silk screening. Dan made this shirt I am wearing. Dan uh, can handle any kind of team sports from A to Z, so give him a call at 440-342-2002. Pepco Jack Borky, owner-operator, located at 33210 Lakeland Boulevard. Pepco is a wholesaler distributor of telecommunications, electrical data, utility, and high voltage. If your electricity goes out like it did in Willowick today, Jack Borky will be fixing it. You can reach Pepco's Eastlake office at 440-946-3790. 
Jack Borky will be programming our no November 12th show right here at Cleats. And how about to top it off, Sam Ritigliano. Jack always gets a, a number of Browns, a number of Indians, but Sam's going to headline the show. So right here on November 12th, it's going to be one great show. Clemex Construction, Mike Clemex, owner-operator, 440-951-2033. If you need roof repairs, a reputable, honest company called Clemex Construction. For 20 years, owner Mike Clemex is on the job to solve every roofing problem, including yours. Check out one of his jobs at 297-31 Fairway in Willowick and 345 High T in Willowick. Jay, you know Sue Clements, endless worker, and they love her at Lake Catholic for all that she does. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, and I'll tell you, just getting back to Mike, your sponsor, th this guy is unbelievable. Um, I used to be in the construction business, and the quality of work and what he does, for, and he, he has employees, the same employees. He's on the job. He doesn't farm it out. He's there every job. And Mike, Mike is absolutely a genius when it comes to roofing or, or any roof problems. You know, and, and that's so true. He's up on the ladder with that hammer and uh, on the roofs. Call him if you have roof problems. No doubt, the best in the business. 440-951-2033. Matrix Tool and Machine. Rich Wilson, owner-operator. Proud sponsors of Mondays with Malta. Menor High School Sports. Menor, Menor Middle School across. You can reach Rich at 440-255-0300. Rich also is a huge supporter of Lake Catholic's Chinese auction. Jay, when it comes to food, I know you like Giant Eagle, but you out here in Menor, Menor Family Foods, owner-operator P.J. Conway, located on the corner of Lakeshore and Route 6 Menor Family Foods is the, it's the little guy in the Jolly Green Giant of, of the grocery business. Stop in and see P.J. I interviewed one of the customers and she said, you know what, Charlie, Menor Family Foods always has exactly what I need. And that's PJ for you. Corner of Lakeshore and Route 306. Stop in and buy from the little guy. And that is Mentor Family Foods, owner operator PJ Conway. Tell him Charlie sent you. 440 946 3788. Forenza Stone, owner operator Mike Fimiani. 216 780 4938. Located at 37033 Vine Street in Willoughby. Specializes in granite, marble, and engineered stone countertops. Check out their website at www.forenzastone.com. Visit their showroom. Simply incredible. Hey, Jay, you were a contractor. Forenza Stone showroom. There's a $30,000 bathroom in that showroom. I, you know, I've been by it. I was waiting for it to open. Uh, but while I was waiting for it to open, they have quite an outside, which is becoming very, I guess, in vogue now. Uh, out on your deck or your patio right. area, they have like an outdoor kitchen out there. And that, they don't have to be open. You can drive by at night and look at that. The, the things they're doing now with this stone are just incredible, I think. And they're one of the leaders. They are. Uh, true story. Uh, Andy Gruber could not sell his house, called Mike Fimiani, put a new, brand new granite top in, a countertop, and uh, three weeks later he sold his home. No doubt about it. And I'll tell you, a forensic stone, you got to go check out the showroom, 216-780-4938. Judy Moran for commissioner. I love Judy Moran for commissioner on November 6th, a 14-year member of Willow Council, where she is currently serves as the council president. She has worked hard to keep taxes low. Longtime business owner of Dandy Donuts. You had a few of those, didn't you, Jay? Yeah, not recently. <laughs> it's been closed. That is given her a business and a financial uh, step on the uh, competitor. She has also helped regional support needed to create Lake Erie. Eng Energy Development Corps. Last but not least, a friend of yours, Jay, Kramer Printing, 40205 1199. Printing faster than the speed of life. Located at 8634 Station Street. Lenny Kramer, owner operator, digital printing, brochures, labels, political signs, you name it, they can print it. The name of the game is printing. Kramer Printing, 440 205 1199. Those programs at Lake are phenomenal. He does a lot of the programs in the area. He does uh, quite a few of them. And uh, I, I think he does North Eyes. I think he does Madison's. And I know there's other ones in the area he does. He, he just does a super job with it. There's no question about it. Well, before we get to Tiger and uh, the, the rest of the defending sta state champion, Kirtland Hornets, let's hear it for the Hornets! We're live at Cleats. 
Athletes, the number one sports bar in Lake County, and uh, we're really excited to be here tonight. Jay, uh, it's three, uh, three weeks into the season, the football season. Kirtland stands 3-0, men are 2-1. Lake Catholic, Mark Banowitz got hurt, their quarterback, 1-2. They had a lot of expectations, but you never know what can happen week by week. Well, you know, last year everybody asked me how Lake Catholic was going to be, and I thought, well, they're not going to be that good. they got a lot of young kids. And, well, as we well know now, they had a very good season. And people asked me this year, and I said, you know, I'm tired of, of forecasting things because I never get it right. And, you know, all things pointed to them. Now their, their offensive and defensive line were, you know, experienced and everything. They seemed to be on the right track. But they're, they're one and two, and like I say, the, the injury bug has hit them hard. Uh, Mark Banowitz is, is a, a, a tremendous loss for them. Not that any, to minimize any other injury to another player. Uh, but Mark kind of makes the, that engine go. He came off a great ball season. He, he, and I know him personally, he's a fantastic kid. I agree. Great family, and uh, he just he, he knows what it takes to win. It's a, it's a shame to see him go down like that. So, yeah, you never know. You never know. And, uh, uh, Kareem Hunt and Company sit 3-0 and with the South Rebels. Have you got a chance to see them play yet? Yeah, I have. I saw them uh, I saw them against uh, NDCL. Or wait a minute, was it NDCL I saw? The opening I, game. The opening game, yeah. And uh, he, he's unbelievable. But, you know, I think sometimes he gets lost in the shadow of his stats is South's offensive line. Uh, they scrimmaged Lake Catholic, one of the scrimmages this year. And uh, Kareem is undoubtedly, you know, he's in a league of his own at the high school level at least. But their offensive line really makes the holes for him. He gets through there, and uh, he's quick. He cuts back a lot. He's a hard guy to bring down. But uh, like I say, I think their offensive line kind of gets lost in the crowd. But I, I think they have a very good offensive line, too, that, that really helps them. And they have a, a freshman that's in the rotation. Look out for him. He's 6'3", I think, 6'4", 267. And he wears number 67. So uh, they've uh, they've got a, uh, a step on a, up on a two, three, and all, doing very, very well. And uh, um, we're going to talk to uh, the volleyball coach here tonight too. And and uh, what a great great area for volleyball. Gilmore's kicked off uh, just a tremendous season. Lake Catholic the same way. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, I, I I'm a big advocate of, of the girls, the young women's sports. I enjoy watching the basketball, the volleyball. And I just, it just never ceases to amaze me that the level that, that some of these young ladies play at. I, I mean, I love volleyball. I love basketball, but I was at a, uh, been at a couple volleyball matches already, and, and these girls are just, you know, and one thing that always bothered me because I used to coach girls basketball at North with uh, Bob Utel was people say, well, you can't do this with girls or girls can't do that. No, they coach them as athletes. I think most of the successful programs in, in at least girls sports is the coaches coach the girls as athletes, not as girls, not as boys, but as athletes. And uh, I think a lot of times uh, some of our fans, uh, a.k.a. parents, don't quite grasp that. Uh, it, but you, you see programs, St. Joe's, I think Royer does a great job. Rich Severino does a great job. Um, I don't, can't remember the Gilmore coach now, but the guy before him. Kelly, Kelly Coughlin. Okay, Kelly, and, the, and then the fellow before him, or her, uh, did a tremendous job, and uh, they, and they, like I say, they coached them as athletes, not as girls, not as boys, and I think that's the big difference in successful programs, because these girls are just unbelievable, unbelievable. You know, and they, they keep getting better each year. Uh, Jo, they're involved in. They play almost 12 months of the year. It, it just, it, it's fantastic. And I says, once I coached girls basketball at North, I always said I could never coach boys again. Because I always thought girls were more open, more receptive. Boys and guys don't take offense, but when you're 12 and 13, you guys know everything. You can't tell you anything. <laughs> you do something and you go, hey, well, why did you? I know, I know. Well, then why didn't you do it the right way, you know? But uh, girls are a little bit more open. Uh, I mean, that's just my opinion. But uh, the, guy, the guys and the girls both they have come so far when I was in high school. And it, it's just truly amazing. And, and it's really enjoyable to watch, I think. Also, when I, I, I got here, I had a few minutes to chat with Danny Kukera, and uh, he just recently came back from his 40th, you can't, I can't believe it, 40th college reunion at Kent State. And uh, 
maybe we'll get him on the air a little bit later and hear about that. But, you know, he was teammates with uh, Jack Lambert. So uh, I'm sure they got stories to tell. But what I wanted to say is listeners at home and, and listeners here at Cleats, you want to spend a good night with, with the high school football players. November 25th is a sun night. Danny Kukir is part, he's a secretary treasurer of the Lake County Touchdown Club. There is not a better night socially you're going to spend with these young men. And on that date, the 25th, it's at the Radisson. I would hope you circle that, your calendar, and be there that night. Very reasonable for the dinner, and then the young men get rewarded for their accompli accomplishments throughout the year. So uh, you can reach me at any time. I can give you information about the Lake County Touchdown Club Banquet or Danny Kukera and his numbers in the telephone book. So make sure you reserve that night because it's a lot of fun and these kids need the support. All right, is Tiger out there? Tiger Liberty, he's in. Let's bring up the football team. The defending state champions. Bring them all up. We want everybody up. This is a team I have never seen before here in Lake County. I can't even remember. Jay will probably let us know when the last state champion before these tremendous Kirtland Hornets. Jay Bird? Well, I, I don't know. I guess maybe it was Lake Catholic. Yeah, maybe it was. That's I right. So. Tiger, and welcome to the three. show. Put those on. Wow, this is great, you guys. I'm glad everybody came out here tonight. We're going to get everybody on the air. And uh, this, is, this is, when you say team, this is what it's all about. You don't do anything individually. It's a team. First, Tiger, it doesn't get old. Congratulations, winning that state title. It was a lot of fun. These guys were incredible. And every week they surprised me as long as well with the whole community of Kirtland. They did an absolute fabulous job. They certainly did. I'm going to take you back. I think it was three years ago. We had a show, and you had lost the semifinal. Was at the final game to Youngstown Ursuline, and, and and you, you had a very young team. You would have made a first down. You would have won another state title. Okay, it would have been your first one in Kirtland. And uh, um, we had a show at Dino's, and. It was on a Monday, you played Saturday, and the kids came out, and, 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 and they talked about it. And you know what? They took the next step to the building block, which eventually led to last year. But you know, I just got it. I never had a chance just to say, you know, thank you for that and, and commending you, because that had to be very hard to even talk about a loss like that. Yeah, we had a shot in 08. It was a good game. They, we, we, a couple things went our way. We had to execute a little better. We could have moved on, so it would have been. It was close, but these guys did it last year, so that's that very exciting. Just, oh, and, and you started out great this year. Tiger, your program, how do you start? Do you start with goals? Do, is it the next practice, the next game? How does it work if you're a Kirtland Hornet? These guys, we take it one day at a time, that's and we focus on just getting better as teammates and players every single day, and that's, that's the results will end up where you want them if you work hard every single day. And these guys... They work extremely hard. I mean, I can't commend them enough of how they focus and work. And it doesn't matter who we're playing. They focus and, and get the work done that week. Well, Tiger. Charlie, excuse me one minute. No, go Look ahead. at this guy's shirt. This is why, right there. Championships are won while the stands are still empty. That's awesome. Wow, that is fantastic. And, you know, this year, um, you're right out of the gates, 3-0, and and, but it's still the very next practice, the very next game, right? So then nothing changes in the, with the Kirtland Well, Army. sometimes we practice from 3 to 5. Then I see guys like this on the field at 7 o'clock playing catch, and these, he's, these guys go to the weight room after practice. They go to the YMCA and lift weights. I mean, it doesn't stop. They have a passion for the game of football that they learned way back in elementary school, that they just love to play. Today we played a little game of fast football, and they, were, they had a, a lot of fun today at practice. I think that's going to be one of our new things that we get into. But they just, they love to compete. They love to be together. They have a good time together. And, I mean, I'm just enjoying the ride watching them. You know, I got to, uh, I keep up on all your articles and stuff in the paper. Because I just, I mean, I'm dear friends with the Kukeras. And uh, um, they're just 
probably the, one of the top three people that uh, families I've ever met, and Sammy's a, I've got to see grow up. But um, I love the article about there's an elementary school teacher that at recess plays football with these guys because when my, my, I have three boys, when they grew up, my day, I work for the post office, my day off, I'm at recess playing with the kids. I mean, I, and it touched home, and it, it met, those, those kids come back to me now and say, Mr. Malta, it, it, those were such precious moments. And now, you know, he, he's got the opportunity to do it every day from September. To, I, 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 you know, I, I think it's awesome. Let's talk about that. Well, you can ask these guys. They all remember fourth grade and Cox and football. There's no question about it. My son's in second grade, and he can't wait to play Cox and football. I mean, they go out every day on the recess and play football, and a lot of times they, they're very competitive, and he has to say, all right, you got to sit out the rest of the day. And, you know, he handles them pretty good, and I think he has fun doing it also. But he's a, he's a great guy and a big part of why these guys love the game. Wow, that's awesome. Jay? Well, you know, I, I, uh, I say something, Tiger. And, you know, you hear all these different schools complaining, well, the private schools, the parochial schools can recruit, and they do this and they do that. Well, and I've always said, if you have a product, they'll stay where they're at. And I'll bet you don't lose many players to any other system because they, you have a great product you built. You should be very proud because that is not a big school at all. It's not a, a real big community. And all you guys should be proud of what you do, believe you me. And this guy is the captain and steering the ship. And I'll tell you, it's hard to do nowadays because I'm sure you have friends that might go to NDCL or St. Ignatius or Lake Catholic or somewhere else. But you guys aren't going because you got the best thing right here. And I'll tell you, you should be commended for that, Coach, because that's tough to do nowadays, I think. Well, I think these kids, they grow up, and they, it's such a little school that they don't come have three elementary schools feeding into one or two middle schools feeding into, right. you know, a high school where they have – these kids are together in kindergarten, first, second, third grade. So by the time they're in eighth grade, they're so tight, they don't want to leave their buddies. They all just want to go to the high school and be together. And then that's what makes it fun to come. They really and truly – have a love for each other and and sometimes they argue and that's just like brothers you know i have i'm one of four five boys i got four brothers there was a lot of fights in our house but you know we love each other and it's just no different of practice they get after it and then at the end of practice they hug it out but don't short shortcut yourself there you're, you're the glue buddy he's the you glue keep, you keep him there he's the glue and he hangs up the phone time and time again when the, the bigger high schools and the small colleges come calling, because I asked you that four years ago, and you said, Charlie, I can, I've got a young family, and I can almost walk to the school, and maybe you didn't even say I can walk to the school, I'm that close, I'm not going anywhere, and you were proof to the pudding, you brought the state championship home, and, and you, see, you, you smiled this whole interview, you've got to be happy. You're not probably not going anywhere. No, I'm I'm ver real fortunate to be at Kirtland. It's a blessing for my family to be able to live there and raise my kids there. And like you know, like I said, I want to. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. I can tell you that much. I could go elsewhere, and I like where I'm at. I enjoy these being with these guys, and I'm I'm having a, all the elementary school teachers are very kind to my kids and are good teachers. And that to me, it's about raising a family and, and this is having part fun of with family. yeah, having fun with these guys along the way, but. You know, for my family, Kirtland's the best place we could be right now. Tiger, um, your staff at Kirtland, other than yourself? You know what? What's nice about it is the guys I came in with are all still there. And Ryan Beeler, he's the defense coordinator right here, does an unbelievable job. He doesn't get the credit he deserves. <laughs> Defensively, the last couple of years, we've been very good. That's being real modest. He's, and he has them ready for anything. I mean, every week, if they do this, we're going to do this. And these kids, whatever the team comes out in, they're, they're, they're never surprised. And he gets them ready. And, you know, he, his dad was a longtime head coach. And uh, he's a good person and a great coach. And another fortunate thing for me, he's on my staff. You know what I mean? And Coach Morrison's our line coach, does a great job. And Coach Eccles and Coach Lips, most of the guys have been there since I got there. And so, you know, that continuity obviously helps a lot. These oh, guys get to know no them. There's no question yeah. about it. And getting there, where did you come from, Tyler? Tell our listeners at home and uh, here. I lived in Oil City for 30 years, and then I moved here. My wife's from Mayfield. She's a 
She's a Wildcat. There you go, a Wildcat. Yeah, she's a graduate of Mayfield. A good friend over there. Uh, and uh, they're uh, really, really uh, love the show, too. So um, uh, what brought you here, then? The, just an opportunity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my wife, she wanted to get back this way, and so she sent in my resume and cover letter and everything. <laughs> wow, that is fantastic, Tiger. It's just, just awesome. Let's, uh, let's hear from uh, Coach Beeler a little bit before we get to the bottom of the hour, and then we're going to break for two minutes, and then we're getting the, the, the guys in. Coach Beeler, that's an awful, awesome, awesome uh, defense you got. Yeah, you know, for us... As coaches, I, you know, I, I actually came in after one of our scrimmages this year, and I, you know, I asked coach to, to pinch me, and he said, "What are you talking about? Pinch you?" And I, I said, "Pinch me," because I want to make sure this is real. I mean, we're, I feel, I like that some of the phrases I use for, for the kids that I get to work with, the, you know, I, I feel spoiled sometimes. I feel, last year I kind of referred to it as an embarrassment of, of riches. You know, I just. I look around position and by position on defense and we got studs to work with, you know. So we got a pretty good start right there and, and these guys work hard, they listen, they are, you know, committed to, you know, executing what we want them to execute and, you know, it makes my job very easy, you know. And, I, not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and claim that I don't know what I'm doing, you know, <laughs> put them in right. the right position, I think. But, you know, they're the ones making the plays. And, but it's your uh, call. Yeah. Now, and, and are a lot of your players uh, two-way players, too? Uh, how many we got? got four. I think, I think we only have four right now. They're, they're two-way. Um, and, and a couple of those are not even full-time on offense. So, uh you know that that's been a big key too is that our kids come out fresh um and you know some of the kids that do play offense we have some other kids that can rotate in with them and and uh especially at, you know in division five that's pretty rare um and uh you know the the teams we play against as we get down the stretch you know in the game the third quarter fourth quarter it's you know it's hard for the, to keep up sure you know. sure um, and uh, tell our listeners at home where you went to high school and college. Uh, I was a Chardon Hilltopper. Okay. And I went to the College of Worcester. And uh, what position did you play in football? Uh, I was a safety for most of my career, and then my senior year in college, I moved to linebacker. Okay. So. I, uh, we're at the bottom of the hour. Uh, you hold the microphone because I'm sure Jay has a question for Jay was a quarterback at St. Joe's, so he might have to throw a curveball question at you or something. But this is the talk of the town, AM 1330. That's it. We got the Kirtland Hornets in the house. We'll be right back after this short break. The big summer sell-off is underway at Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. Thousands of cars and trucks with the best sale prices, rebates, and discounts. The best time to buy is right now. Nobody has more or sells more than Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. At Pat O'Brien Chevrolet, you'll find two things that make car buying fast and easy. The biggest selection of any dealer in Ohio and upfront pricing that takes the hassles out of buying. So don't waste your time or money. Come to Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. Dave Ramsey here. Folks, organizations are never limited by their opportunity. They're limited by their leaders. Are you ready to be the kind of leader people will want to follow? Then attend the Entree Leadership One Day Simulcast on September 21st, where I'll personally teach you what intentional leadership looks like. It doesn't matter who you are. This stuff is for everyone. This 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. seminar is Friday, September 21st at Mama Roberto's in Mentor. $39 registration includes lunch and materials. Register at WELW.com or 440-974-8500 extension 11. For 30 years, the Cleveland Library Consortium has been providing residents with access to the vast collections of participating library systems across Northeast Ohio. 10 million items are readily available through Clevenet's 38 member libraries, including books, DVDs, CDs, ebooks, and more. Visit any local Clevenet library to get a library card and experience the Clevenet advantage. To learn more about Clevenet and to see a list of participating libraries, visit www.clevnet.org. Clevenet, celebrating 30 years of library cooperation. Want bling with elegance? Close your eyes. Now think of an image in your head. Got it? 
Now personalize it with thread or rhinestones for that one-of-a-kind look. Marlene at Stitch and Screen takes your images and personalizes them. Whether you prefer custom embroidery or rhinestone imprinting with colorful silk screening, Marlene can bring it to life. Nestled by Willoughby Brewing, visit Stitch and Screen to see Marlene's fabulous bling cocktail shirts and promotional items. From rhinestones to thread, Stitch and Screen can put the bling in your life. Welcome back to Mondays with Colt and, and Jay Batong too. It's the Kirtland Hard at night and uh, we're paying tribute to the state champs and we'll also have the uh, cheerleaders on, the volleyball team, and uh, also my favorite sport, golf. Tonight's program is brought to you by DW Goods, Pepco Clinics Construction, Matrix Tool, Mentor Family Foods, Lorenzo Stone, Judy Bear for Commissioner, and Kramer Printing. With us right now is the defensive coordinator, Coach Peeler. And Jay, I know uh, you being an offensive guy, you may have a question or two for Coach. Yeah, uh, uh, and, and this is kind of an offense related, but I would think it helps your defense. Why, and maybe Tiger could help us here too, why do high school coaches always run to the weak side of the field or the short side of the field? And that's got to help you defensively. <laughs> I got an answer for that. I like, on our field's pretty crowned. We like to run downhill. Oh. So if you're on the hash, you're running downhill when you're running to the boundary. But, but I've watched a lot of high school, and they're not crown fields. <laughs> I could never understand that. But uh, defensively, uh, what do you guys run, uh, uh, basically? We, we, we vary between a five-man front and a four-man front. If okay. we're playing a, a passing team more so or a spread team, we'll go into a four-man front. Uh, I, I guess you would say we're a five-three. It's really a five-one with three safeties that kind of travel around and adjust to formations. That's kind of a throwback. Uh, when I, a little bit, Quite yeah. a few years ago when I played, we always played a 5-2. Well, we're, we're, it's been our philosophy just to be very stubborn as far as the run goes. Right. You know, we'll, you know, and we do a good job against the pass, too, but we really don't want to let people, you know, we're going to make you throw the ball, right. and we'll, we'll take that risk of, you know, putting it in the box. Right. Well, I, again, you were very modest with your comments, the same as, as uh, the Tiger was here. And uh, don't sh sell yourself short, guys, because, you know, I said a lot about these guys and a lot about you guys, but I think you guys can relate to this as far as their families. Uh, I, I always say, you know, no kid's born an idiot. He's kind of, the environment he is makes him one. And these seem like good people. They're hard workers, they, they have a good work ethic. You guys uh, can only do so much. And I think a lot of that is, should be commended to their families, their parents and so oh, on. Absolutely. Their values and everything. Yeah, no question about it. All right, Coach Hunt, you hand, hand that baton next to you. We'll go right around the, down the line here. Ask some of the, get to know some of the players. And uh, state your name. Um, ben Nye, starting, ben. starting right guard, senior. What number do you wear, Ben? 57. All right, Ben, uh, who's been your biggest influence on your sport? Um, I don't really know. I just try to work hard. That's about it. Okay. Yeah. All right, one word to describe winning the state championship. Unbelievable. Excellent. All right. What has been the most important thing that you've learned in your four years at high school currently? Um, work hard and be humble is what Coach Roy tells us. Be on time, too. That's an important one. <laughs> All right, tip for our younger listeners out there to where you are right now. Um, just be passionate about the sport. You're going to have to put a lot of time into it. And I think a great saying that I love is um, you get what you put into it, and obviously you put in a lot of hard work, and, you know, we got a state championship out of that. So that's what I have to say. Excellent, excellent. All right, what's on your bucket list? Um, I don't know, go skydiving. Skydiving is yeah. very popular. All right, past the present. Three people that you would invite to dinner. Three people that you would invite to dinner at your home, past or present. Zach Galifianakis, Will Ferrell, <laughs> oh, and great choices. I don't know, Brian Regan. There we go. All right, nice job. Next is Joe Godick, senior running back. Joe, all right, Joe, Joe. Hold, hold the microphone with the other hand for a second. Because I want to see this. First time I've ever seen a state championship ring. That is beautiful, Joe. Wow. Wow, that is impressive. Outstanding, Joe. Joe, show it to the camera. Juice Man's taking uh, movies of this. You might want to zoom out. 
Yeah, he'll, he'll zoom it in. Thank you so much. Yeah, he'll come. He'll come. He'll, he'll, he'll scoop by. Yeah, All right, Joe. Uh, one second. Do you ever watch Pond Stars? I don't want to see that there in a couple <laughs> I'm not of years. Mess up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you made me laugh, Joe. Joe, uh, what uh, year in school are you? Yes. What year? I'm a senior. Senior. What position? Running back. All right. What number? Twenty-three. Who's been your biggest influence on your sport? Um, I'd have to say my mom. Okay. Because she just pushes me, no matter if it's football, um, school, just overall life. She just is a big motivation. Okay. All right. One word to descri describe the winning the state championship. Unreal. Unreal. Unbelievable and unreal. I like it. What has been the most important thing that you've learned at high school at Kirkland? Um, well, this year, compared to my last couple years, to be humble and to get stuff in on time and be on time and um, just be respectful and responsible. Excellent. All right. Tip for our younger listeners out there to get to where you are? Um, kind of like what Ben said. If you want to be great or attempt to be great, you have to work hard like you're great. Okay. What's on your bucket list? Write a book. Oh, no one has ever said that. We've been asking this question for about three years now. I like that. All right. And who's coming to dinner at the Godic House? Will Farrell and um, my two buddies, Sam Kakura and Damon Washington. Outstanding. <laughs> All right, good job. Next up. And this is? Evan Brettrager. How you doing, Evan? Good. Good. What year? I'm a senior. Okay, and what position? Uh, tight end and defensive tackle. And what number? 18. Okay. Who's been your biggest influence on your sport? I'd have to say my older brother. Okay. One word to describe winning the state championship. Fun. Fun? All right. That's what you want. You want these kids to have fun, Tiger. What has been the most important thing that you've learned in high school? Um, well, I mean, just around the guys like our coaches and our friends, you just pretty much just learn how to live, be have fun, be good people. You know, and it is a byproduct. School is such a byproduct of what your next life's going to be outside of high school. That's great. You learn how to live. Sometimes, you know what, uh, maybe they should teach a subject like that and uh, would be a little bit easier once you get into college and in later life. That's a good answer, a very good answer. Thank you. Tip for our younger listeners out there to get to where you're at? Um, just, you gotta work hard, trust in your coaches, trust in your teammates, and trust in God. Very good. And uh, what's on your bucket list? I wanna ride bulls. Another one! My mom won't let me. <laughs> All right, and three people that are coming to dinner. <laughs> Can they be a movie character? Yeah, anything, anybody. Well, it's definitely it. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Forrest Gump is my hero. He's a great man. Go ahead. Ah, oh, jeez. Two more. I don't know. I mean, once, this, once I got Forrest Gump, I'm pretty good. All right. You could bring Tiger in. I can take Coach. I mean, he can hang out with Forrest and me. Yeah, I think for, Tiger would have a few questions for him. All right, good job. Next up, who is? Mike Simmel. Mike, how you doing? I'm, I'm really good. you got a great voice for radio. I don't know, Mike. You should think about it. He does the announcements in the morning See at that? All oh, right. I called that one, huh? What are you going to do when you get out of school or go, uh, get out of high school? Go to college. And uh, have, you guys, have you chosen a school yet? No. No. Okay. Uh, what position do you play? Center. And what number? 56. What year? Junior. Junior. All right. Who's been your biggest influence? Uh, my family has. I okay. mean a lot to me. All right. Yeah, that's a very good answer. What one word describes winning the state championship for you? Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's been four different answers. And uh, what has been the most important thing that you've learned in high school? To have the right attitude for everything you do, whether it's playing football, hanging with your friends, just have the right attitude. Attitude's big. Tip for our younger listeners out there? Big. All right. <laughs> What's on your bucket list? We have past 40. That's a good one. And who's coming to dinner? No one. The food's for me. <laughs> all right. All right well, before I pass it to Damon, um, did, did, have you three decided on a school yet? The first three? I forgot to ask. No? Okay. So Damon's up. All right. You got the big guy. All right, man. What's your name? 
My name is Damon. I'm uh, number one. Wait a minute, Damon what? Is that it? Are you like a rock star? You yeah, he's one? like Fred. <laughs> Washington. There we go. Number Chris one. Madonna. Starting, back. Even, uh, starting defensive back. Cool. Okay. Uh, what would you been your biggest influence so far? Uh, probably my grandparents. Them are everything. Great. 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 Uh, well, these are Charlie's questions, so I'm going to bounce around a little bit. One word to describe the last year's uh, state championship. Amazing. Amazing. Great. You guys are great. Everyone's given a, a different, different answer. answer. Uh, Usually, everybody topic. says what the first person says. You know, Coach, how are their grades? They seem, everybody's so far. I don't know about this group, but we, we got a pretty intelligent group right Boy, now. I commend you guys. You guys all handle yourselves well and everything. All right, back to Rockstar, Damon. Okay, uh, uh, what's been the most important thing you've learned in high school or you've got out of high school so far? To be on time. Is this one of Coach's things? You <laughs> all got to be on time all the time. I don't know. But that's a good thing to do. You know, even a couple minutes early. No. Yes, sir. Uh, um, okay, if you had to give a tip to any young listeners out there, uh, you know, how to be successful at least to this point in your life, what would you tell them? To work hard at everything you do and uh, do everything 100%. Great. Can I ask you your GPA? Uh, for, two, for what? 2.6. Two 2.6? Six. Two six. Yeah. You're better than that, man. Yes, sir. All right. Next time we talk to you, you I want to hear a little improvement, all right? Uh, what's on your bucket list? Don't say riding a bull. Cage diving. <laughs> oh. Cage diving. Oh. Never said before. <laughs> Where do you guys get this stuff at? Uh, he's talked about it. He's going to go do that. Uh, wow. Uh, okay, uh, three people, past or present, that you would have for dinner? Uh, LeBron James. Okay. Boo! <laughs> Michael Symbol. Yeah! <laughs> and uh, my quarterback, Scott Allen. All right, there you Wait, go. Wait, Damon, have you chosen a school yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, have you whittled it down, or um, or you can't say? Yeah, I'm just going to keep that Okay, you can me. keep No problem. Keep it on the down low. <laughs> Who's next here? I am. What's your name? Brad Blankenship. Oh, Brad, you're ready to go. Yep. Uh, position? Uh, nose tackle. Just defense? Do you play any offense at all or no? Just defense. Right. You're a specialist, huh? Uh, what's your number? 55. 55? All right. Uh, you were on the team last year, I'm assuming? Yeah. What was, what do you, in one word, your biggest? Great. Jeez, Never. everybody's Never got it. has been different. <laughs> you guys must have a dictionary back there or something. Uh, all right. Who's been the, uh, probably the biggest influence in your life up to this point? My brother. Your brother? Yeah. Older brother, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. Uh, did he play ball? Yeah, he, he was on the he was starting guard last year. Oh, oh okay, good. Well, that's an eight. Two-way starter. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, let's see where we're going here. What has been a long time we no, did no, that? All right. All right uh, if the younger listeners out there. Now, because you're a good example of that, because evidently you kind of watched your brother and kind of followed in his footsteps, what would you advise the younger listeners to do? Just do everything right. At least give it a shot, huh? Yeah, no mistakes. Good, good. And uh, who's been the biggest influence in your life? Your, oh, you said that, your brother. Um, what's on your bucket list? To swim the sharks. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are unbelievable. You ought to only have your own reality show or something, you know? <laughs> they may if they went back to back. <laughs> All right, uh, three people, past or present, you'd invite for dinner. Mike Symbol. All right, there you go. Cannon Schroeder. All right. Sam Kakura. Sammy, I think you were a throw in there. I, you were the first guy he saw. He looked over and saw you and said, Sammy. All right, who's next? Oh, this guy, come on. Uh, Sam Kakura, um, number 20. I play running back and linebacker. All right. Uh, you're one of the four way, or four, four way, two way guys? Yes. Okay. okay, all right, Sammy. Now, evidently, your mother was a heck of an athlete and taught, <laughs> you, and taught you a lot about sports because I know your dad. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Who, who would you say is the biggest influence in your life so far? Uh, my father. Man, God bless you, because he's one of the finest men I know. Thank you. He is. He's a great guy. Nobody better. Danny Kakura. What word, one word, would you say to describe your champion? This is tough now. They're using all the... Undescribable. <laughs> 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 okay, uh... 
What has been the most important thing you, you've learned so far from your high school experience, both academically and athletically? Um, to work hard at everything you do, and it's even important to work harder when the coach isn't looking. Man, this guy, you can tell you're the son of a coach. <laughs> you must have all those inches on your bedroom wall. And don't be a hammer, be a nail, hit, hit, hit. Be a nail, be a hammer, hit, hit, hit. I hear it every night. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, yeah. Uh, what's on your bucket list, Sammy? Um, probably to go deep sea fishing with my dad for over a week. Oh, oh my gosh. Over a week you'd be with him? <laughs> Just the two of you on a boat? Oh, man, you're a sadist. Uh, all right, now, the three people, past or present. And I, I have one in mind. I want to see if you say it, but go ahead. Um, I'd probably say our offensive line, honestly. Holy wow. man. Very nice. You're unbelievable. You guys are fantastic. I'm telling you, you have your own show. All right, Sammy, that's it. Pass it along. What's this cat's name? Uh, Scott Ehrman. All right, Scott. Position? Uh, the quarterback. Quarterback, huh? Yes, Two-time starter, Scott Ehrman. What's your number? 11. 11. Did you pick that because that was my number in high school? You're supposed to say yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, now let me tell you a question here, and I'm going to start backwards. All right. Three people you had invite to dinner. Uh, I was going to say my offensive line, but, you know, Sammy took that. So I'll have to say uh, my three senior linemen, Logan Gorski, Bob Matthews, and Ben Nye. All right, now, you're inviting them to dinner. Where would you take them to dinner? Wherever they want to. <laughs> oh, Matt, we're here first. I'd take them up on it. All right, what's on your bucket list? Uh, probably go skydiving or swim a shark, something crazy like that. <laughs> I can't believe you guys. They what happened to the demon dropping that stuff? I don't know. Uh, what tip would you give the youngsters out there? Well, wait a minute. Before I get, do you guys throw the ball a lot or do you run? What's the percentage, would you say? A lot, a lot of running to a little throwing. Okay. Well, that's all right. I've seen a little smirk from Damon over there. Uh, all right. Now, uh, what's the most important thing you've learned from your high school experience, your teachers, your coaches, and everything? What can you take? What are you going to take away from that? Uh, you know, if you want to be good at something, you got to work at, work hard at it. You know, even if it's going rough, you got to keep going. You know, the one thing I liked a lot of you guys said was was be humble, and I'm sure that comes from your coach. Uh, my son played football, and he had a successful career, and I would always tell him, I says, you don't have to tell anybody how good you are when you're good because people know it. You know what I'm saying? And you guys all seem to have had that instilled with you from the coach. Be humble. People are going to know you're good. How many people are walking around with that ring on? Not many I know. No. All right, yeah, so that's all you gotta do. You know, it's kinda like when people go scoreboard, scoreboard. Eh, it's kinda bush, but they do it. Uh, who's been your biggest influence in your life? Uh, probably my family, you know, my parents. They've always been there for me. That's great, that's fantastic. You have any brothers or sisters? Uh, yeah, I have one brother and one older sister. Is your brother younger? No, he's older too. Oh, is he? Okay, yeah. did they play ball or anything? At no. The no, oh. my brother did not play football. Oh, wow. Are your sister an athlete or what? Not really. <laughs> I'm kind of like the, you... the oddball out of the family. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Are you thinking about anywhere for college yet or no? Uh, not really, you know. Just, just wait to see what happens. Yeah, I'm there. just enjoying my senior year right now. That's great. That's great. That's fantastic. Daddy, uh, I got a question for you. How much latitude do you have when you come to the line that you could change the play? Uh, well, we just got, I, I can do that now because we got news on that this past week. So, I guess I can do that now. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. you get to read the reads, and if uh, you think another play will work, you're going to call a different play. Yeah, you know, whatever you know, the defensive line's looking like, uh, I guess I can change it now. Yeah. I got permission from the guy over there. I trust him. <laughs> well, um, the last question I have for Tiger. Tiger, just touch again. You mentioned it once. What the community, what the parents, I mean, uh, it, it's such a... 12th, the cheerleaders, it's such a 12th man on the, uh, for the Tigers, uh, for the Kirtland Hornets. Tiger, what does it mean to you? Well, talking to these guys, you see what we get the privilege to deal with every day. I mean, these kids are intelligent. They were brought up the right way by their, I mean, Kirtland's a group of uh, families that they bring their kids up to work hard and know the difference between right and wrong and be disciplined and be humble. And, and uh, these kids are wonderful kids. And every day they go out and work, you know, they do their best. And I'll tell you what is great about our school is these guys, we went to the playoff soccer game against Hawking and, and supported them. And they go to all the basketball games and support the basketball team. And, you know, 
and the, everybody supports everybody at the school. I mean, really, all the sports look out for each other, and, and uh, it's really a, a special place. It really is. All right, normally after this segment, you guys would be going over to that wall and signing the banner. But there must be, like, an omen here because my wife and my son, they make the banner, okay, and you guys autograph it, and we've had over 5,000 guests over the 10 years. The banner, they folded it, and it's stuck together. <laughs> so here's my promise to you. When you go back to back, we'll be back here for the Kirtland Hornet state championship mondays with malta with my main man right here the rock star co-hosting the show what do you say about that huh That's it! all right congratulations we're actually wlw is doing a game this year i think it's your seventh game and uh um it's an away game yep. but uh we're happy that we got you on the schedule and uh you got a date with us That's again awesome. on Mondays with Malta. A Kirtland awesome. Hornet night right here. All right, guys, congratulations. Thank you for coming. Great job, Tigers. Oh, all right. Coach, a pleasure to meet you, man. Karen Hoffman and the cheerleaders. I'd like to thank everybody coming out here at Cleats tonight. After the show, it'll be Monday Night Football, Jaber. You got that right. And uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors again, d &W Goods, Pepco, Clements Construction, Matrix Tool, Manor Family Foods, Forenza Stone, Judy Moran for Commissioner, and Kramer Prinny. And Karen, who is, seems to be the last one coming because she doesn't want to talk, but I got to ask her just a couple simple questions, not off my question list. Ha you know... When you get on the internet, everybody in the world can hear this. They might want to, you know, log in and say, that's the Karen Hoffman I went to school with one day. So, it's just a name. All right, I'm just helping Karen a little bit with the, uh, make sure you get her uh, on there, Charlie. Charlie's got you on the, with the uh, headphones on and everything. Karen, welcome to the show, and thank you for bringing these beautiful girls out here tonight. Welcome, it's my pleasure. All right, Karen, now, how many years have you been coaching? Many. Many at Kirtland? No. How many at Kirtland? This is my second year with the football girls, and I believe it's my third year with basketball and competition. Oh, wow. Now, Karen, um, we'll be part of the Mondays with Malta uh, uh, cheerleading challenge on October 1st. Yes, We're excited absolutely. about that with these girls. Yes. I can't wait to see them yes. And uh, tell, tell me this, describe last year, I mean each game, has a, I mean, like a snowball rolling down the hill. Incredible? Yes. Lost for words. Yes. <laughs> That's okay, Karen. Very, very good. Karen, what high school did you go to? East Lake North. Did you? And what college? Lakeland and Cleveland State. Good for you. And were you a cheerleader? No. No? But you've taught these girls. Yes. That's great. All right. I know you didn't want to answer too many questions, so I won't ask you that many. Jay, you got a question for Karen? No, I respect her privacy, Karen. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, so if you want to chime in, you may. And uh, what I didn't tell the girls, after you're done, you're going to do cheer, not, not in the air, right from your seat, your favorite one. So think of one for me. I always ask the cheerleaders to do that. And they're dressed in their cheerleading outfits, and they look very, very nice. I like them. Okay. Um, we're almost at the top of the hour, so we're probably going to have to break, but who's, who are we with first? I'm Clarice. Clarice, and what is your last name? Aquila. Aquila. What year are you in at Kirtland Sophomore. High School? Sophomore. Sophomore, and you're on a varsity cheerleader. Yes. Wow, that's outstanding. Um, how many years have you been cheering? This will be my second football season, but three. And, well, you, well, we'll get to that question. Who was your first, who was your biggest uh, influence on your cheerleading? Probably my gymnastic coach because she influenced me to do tumbling, which is what I do in wow. cheerleading. Wow! So, so you, she you, you helped mixed, me do that. That is excellent. So you're the one that does all the somersaults. Yeah, one of them. That's the, um, uh, 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 Jay is helping her with the microphone. Okay, one word to describe last year. Exhilarating. Another new word, Jay. Wow, somebody's going to run out of a word over here. So. Right, I don't think so. You're only a sophomore, but 
what has been uh, the most important thing you've learned so far at Kirkland? Not to procrastinate because then it will affect you, like, especially in college. That's a great tip for me. Thank you. And to our listeners at home. What has been your most, uh, a tip for our younger listeners out there, maybe some cheerleaders that want to cheer, would be Jim, a good idea for them to get involved in? Yes, and that they should, they should um, try their hardest to try their hardest? become what they want to be in cheerleading. Very good. Okay. What's on your bucket list? What would you like to do? To drive cross country around the United States. Right there, that's what he wants to do. He wants to drive cross country. You might have a driver when you graduate. You gotta so go on his site, juiceman.com, and say, in two years, I'll go cross country with you. And he just told us that the other day. All right, and he would be a good driver for you. All right, um, three people that, would, that are coming to dinner at your home, or you're going to take them to dinner, past or present. Zach Efron, Ashley Tisdale, and John Travolta. Whoa! John Travolta. <laughs> All right, excellent. Good job, honey. You did it Thank very, you. very well. And who's this? Hi, I'm Jessica. Jessica, last name? What? What is your last name? <laughs> Weaver. We Jessica Weaver, and what year are you in? A sophomore. Sophomore. And who's been your biggest influence? Um, probably Haley Ganyan. And who is she? She was a cheerleader. She graduated last year. She's always smiling and happy. <laughs> now, are, is this your second year? Um, <laughs> this is my fifth year cheering. Um, my fourth football season. So you cheered the state championship and, team? And? No, well, I was in marching band also last oh, year. Oh, that's good. What instrument? Um, trumpet. Okay, excellent. That was fun. So how? Uh, uh, give me a word that described the championship year. You were playing a trumpet. Um, it was perfect. Another new word. Perfect. Another. Who's been, uh, what have you learned most importantly at Kirtland High School? Um, wait, can you repeat the question? What has been your most important thing you've learned at Kirtland High School? Um, to follow what you think is best, like in your own mind and in, not listen your... to other people okay all right i like that what's on your bucket list um visit all seven wonders of the world i love that and three people that are coming to dinner three, three people coming um b um zach efron and ron weasley no nope, ken barbie who barbie barbie who the doll okay I all just right check you're listening to, to the Talk of the Town. This is Mondays with Malta and Jay Batung 2. We got the prettiest cheerleaders in Lake County. We'll be right back after this short break. Modeling is over at Marshall Superstores, but the savings continue. Marshall Superstores invites you to come in and see the all-new Marshall Ford Lincoln Superstores and celebrate with two great offers. For only two months, you can drive the all-new 2013 Ford Escape. Or how about a 2013 Explorer for only $2.59 a month? Visit the all-new Marshall Ford Lincoln Superstore on Mayfield Road and drive with pride. Buy American from your family-owned Marshall Ford Superstore on the big corner, Mayfield and I-271. 24-month lease with approved credit, $29.95 to its end, plus tax title and registration fees. Security deposit waived problem. Your upcoming family party will cost you a fortune at a party center, so you want to have it at your house. How can you get what you need fast and inexpensive? CCM Rental Menor, the super alternative, has everything you need. Tents, tables, chairs, grills, games. They can deliver, set up, and pick up, or save even more and do it yourself. Around the house, in the yard, or on the job. It just makes sense and saves dollars. Call CCM Rental Menor first before you buy. Visit ccmrental.com. W-E-L-W, Willoughby, Eastlake, Cleveland. There's nothing more beautiful than a tree full of red, orange, yellow, brown, and even a few green leaves. And there's nothing more frustrating than a lawn full of leaves, yelling at me to pick them up before being buried under the snow, devastating my perfect lawn. So I call George Ward and his crew for a fall cleanup better than I can do myself. With Wards, you stop working and stop worrying. Visit WELW.com or call 440-942-1912. No work, no worries. Wards. 
It's the 15th Annual Benefit Celebration in Little Italy. A taste of Little Italy on Sunday, September 23rd from 3 till 7 p.m. at Holy Rosary Churchyard, Mayfield Road with Honorary Chair Sam Rutigliano and Mike Fratello. You'll enjoy over 40 restaurants, fine Italian food, and over 200 wines along with live musical entertainment. So come and enjoy the cuisine and ambiance of Little Italy while helping to benefit Montessori School and Holy Rosary. Call now for tickets, 216-421-0700. Ciao! Welcome back to Mondays with Malta and Jay Batung 2. We're at the Cleats in Menor, the number one sports bar in Lake County. Let's hear it for the Sally. Yes. Pat, Jimmy, and Chris are here tonight. Tonight's program is brought to you by DW Goods, Pepco, Jack Porky, Clements Construction, Matrix Tool, Menor Family Foods, Forenza Stone, Mike Fimia. It, Fimiani 2167804938 Judy Moran for Commissioner and Kramer Printing and with us right now is Christina Lustry. And Christina has a big smile on her face. Christina, what year are you in? I am a sophomore. Sophomore, very good. Who's been your biggest influence on your journey? Probably my mother because she helped me start cheerleading. She was the coach and she just made me love cheerleading. Fantastic. One word to describe the state championship. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Another new word. What has been the most important thing that you've learned at Kirtland High School? To always have teamwork. Like, it's not only one person, it's everyone to join together. Fantastic. Tip for our younger, our younger listeners out there to get where you are today. What? A tip for our younger listeners. Um, try your best and never give up. I like that. What's on your bucket list? to start a flash mob. Whoa, I like that. I like that. Any ideas where? Um, maybe in California, like Hollywood, with um, Party Rock Anthem, the song Party Rock Anthem. He's been there. Charlie got to design shoes last summer at the X Games in LA, not bad. That's cool. <laughs> so he might know about where, that, where you're talking about. Okay. All right, and three people that are coming to dinner. Let's see, um, Ed Sheeran, Harry Styles, and Joe Jonas. Wow, man, I love that trio. You're not gonna get in a word edgewise. <laughs> That's for sure, good job. Next up, and this is? Angelina Rawson. Angelina, and is your, your the uh, Powell? Yes. And uh, a shout out to Sonny Powell, who's a good friend of mine. And a great guy, and he loves Benedictine. Does he come to the Kirtland Hornets games too? Hopefully. All right, hopefully. <laughs> Sonny's a great guy. He used to own Sunny Side of the Street, and uh, a good friend of my dad's. And uh, uh, your Uncle Vince, yes. I know very well. He's a great guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Who's been your biggest influence on your cheerleading? Um, probably my mom, because she was a cheerleader at Wycliffe, and she was on the varsity as a captain, so oh, probably influenced so me to become a cheerleader. That is so sweet. Oh, that is great. One word to describe winning the state championship. Uh, unforgettable. Unforgettable. Another new word. And what year did you say you're in, honey? Sophomore. You're a sophomore. Boy, you got all these coming back. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> Tip for our younger listeners out there to get to where you're at to try their hardest at what they want to become and to cooperate with others and listen to their uh, elders. Listen to their elders, that's yeah. excellent. All right, what's on your bucket list? To learn how to do a back handspring. Who's gonna teach you that? I don't know yet. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait a minute, I have one question. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. Do you have two sisters? Two sisters and one brother. All right. And the one sister is maybe like, uh, like her. four years younger, or two years, three years. And then there's this one. What's your name? Give her the microphone. What's your name? Ariana. Ariana. Are you a cheerleader too? I don't know. You, who should I ask? <laughs> ask her mother. She's not a cheerleader. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> That's great. All right. I just she, had, I, she was all excited. I thought that would be nice. That's okay. all. Okay. All right. And uh, who's coming to, to dinner at your house? Zach Efron and the Olsen twins. All right. There you go, Jay. Take it, take it over. Nice job, honey. Next up. All right. Who is? Hi. What's your name, Smiley? I'm Gabby Stepanovic. 
Gabby. Is yeah. that a nickname? Yeah, Gabrielle. Oh, I, I thought maybe because you talked a lot. That, I no. You seem like the quiet type. Hey, uh, what year are you? I'm senior. You are? Oh, yeah. you're, you're a big timer, huh? Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you guys have captains? Uh, are there captains for the yes, squad? Yes, we do. There's a captain yeah. out there. And who would be the captain? Me. Oh. What a coincidence I have to ask you. Yeah. All right, Gab, let's, let's get down to business here now. Uh, have you thought about college yet? Um, a little bit. Not as much as I should be, though. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Do you think you know what you want to go into in college? Yeah, I want to go into psychiatry or psychology. Oh, okay. Yeah, one that's, of the two. <laughs> that's good. All right, uh, who's been the biggest influence in your life so far? Um, I would have to say my mom, because she was a cheerleader, and my coach was her coach, so. Dad, <laughs> Dad, I think Dad's oh, saying, uh, what about me? That was real nice. <laughs> How about all those times Dad took you to practice? Yeah, my dad, too. <laughs> you know, we talked with the football team. I'm sure you guys maybe were her. You were Gavin, probably. <laughs> Gabby. Yeah. But uh, how everybody said about how the Kirtland community is. Do you guys get that same sense of feeling that everybody's close in the community? and it's Yeah, it's, yeah, we're really close. Like, it's so fun to have, like, such a community that everybody's so close together. Well, that's good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> How are you doing in school? Good. Can I ask, you want me to ask you your GPA or no? Um, I don't care. Okay, what's your GPA? I have like a 3.9 something, isn't it? Oh, well, right, or right something. Now. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, somewhere around there. 2.9, 3.9. 2.1 <laughs> <9, 3. laughs> something. Give or take. There you go. Uh, what's your favorite class in school? Um, I'm taking psychology, so that's probably oh, so my that's favorite your... class. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. good. All right. Now, if uh, any young girls were out in the audience that maybe were thinking about being cheerleaders, mm -hmm. do, you, do you have any words of wisdom? To, to um, I would say to never give up and always strive to do your best at everything. Because if you give up, you won't achieve your goals. Okay. <laughs> now, and I know we're asking this question. You guys probably don't even have really bucket lists yet. But if you had a bucket list, <laughs> what would be on it? Um, I want to go to Times Square in New York for New Year's Eve. You're crazy. I was there. Really? Oh, please. <laughs> anyway. Still can't get the confetti out of his hair. Oh, my gosh. That's nuts. All right. Now, three people you'd have for dinner, past or present. They can be living and they can be fictional. Okay. Like the one guy wanted Forrest Gump. <laughs> um, Zach Efron, Channing Tatum, and Alex Pettifer. Wow, that's great. Well, thank you. Hey, good luck in college. Thank you. All right, now, here we go. This is trouble right here. <laughs> what is your name? Riley Carpenter. Riley, are you Irish? <laughs> oh, okay. And Riley, what year are you in school? I'm a senior. Really? How long have you been cheerleading? Um, about, this will be my fifth year. Now, I'm assuming you're talking about Kirtland. Now, did you ever cheerlead when you were younger for, like, the... Uh, the, the young kids football teams and that did they have that or no um i when i was really young i cheered for upward like my church oh, squad okay. and then in eighth grade i didn't cheer for curlin i cheered for a competitive squad oh, that's a different cool. gym All right, that's cool now uh your coach mentioned earlier you guys have basketball cheerleaders football cheerleaders and a competitive squad now, in your competitive squad, you guys do the jumps and all that stuff? Yeah, we uh, jump and tumble. We don't stunt, however, because of insurance oh, policies. Oh, okay. But we do jump and tumble, and then we have um, a variation of dances and cheers that we do in a certain time limit. You know, i got to tell you something. I'm really amazed because I've been watching you through this whole thing, <laughs> and I'm impressed with you so far. <laughs> oh, have you thought about college yet? Yes, um, I actually have a couple in mind. North Carolina is really where I'm looking towards, oh. and uh, High Point University, Elon, or University of North Carolina, Charlotte. Wow. Other than that, I have a few fallbacks for Ohio, just as in case I decide I don't want to go far. Right. But I'm really looking at like ROTC programs and things like that. So oh, you we'll are? see. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Now, was now what has influenced that direction? Somebody in your uh, family in the military, or? My family has always been uh, very Army strong. My, both my biological father, he was in the Army, and then my stepfather also is a second lieutenant, I believe, yeah. retired second lieutenant from the Army. And then both my brothers are in the Marines as of now. So That's oh, fantastic. Oh, wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Thank him when you see him for us. Your bucket list. On my bucket list, I would have to say I want to visit all seven continents of the world before I die. I think wow. that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. Can you name them? 
Okay. Never, never mind. Okay. No, I can't. I can't. Right. Really, this is, I this can't. is like a, a question for Sarah Palin, I swear. Can you name? Go okay. ahead. You ready? All right. A little louder. We can hardly hear it. Okay. You're up. Okay. That's one. <laughs> Asia. North America, South America, um, Africa, and Australia. Oh, wait, and that's seven, right? Yeah. No, I, I got six. I don't know. I got six, but that's, I need that's I need fingers. I can't have my fingers. Would you like to call a friend? Um, this is like, not yet. Would you like to be a millionaire? <laughs> All right, I got to get through this. My boss is getting mad at me here. No, you're doing fine. Dinner. Three people, and please don't say the Zach guy. <laughs> Come up with something original. Okay, three people I'd have to dinner is uh, Jesus. There you go. And um, my Uncle Guy, who passed away, he's from Luxembourg. And right. then probably my mom, because when I don't know what to say, she knows what to say. So in case of any fallbacks, she would be there. <laughs> what do you mean? She, uh, is she a ventriloquist? <laughs> no, no, but just when I get stumbled oh, on my words, oh, she knows what I mean. I so she's meant, able <laughs> I thought she meant, you know. <laughs> Okay. All right. That is, that, hey, that, that's you, great radio right there. That's five <laughs> minutes of great radio. What do you want? Uh, do you th did I ask you what you thought you might want to do, take up in college other than space? Uh, well. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, I'm looking into international marketing and business, wow. so that's really where I'm heading. You said your uh, uncle that passed away is from Luxembourg, Germany? Yeah. Well, Luxembourg is an actual country itself. It's in between France and Germany. So, oh, okay. yeah. Well, I, I was yeah, close. No, yeah, you're yeah. right there. It's well, really small, so I understand. Oh, okay. Now, was he born there, or was he living there? Or? Yes, is originally from there. She was born oh, there. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Do you speak German? Absolutely not. Oh, uh, can see Deutsch. <laughs> Maybe. No. Uh, all right, we're done. Nine, nine. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on. Hey, wait a minute. Where do you tan? TNT? You definitely got to pull this up tomorrow from 7 to 9, girls. You're going to have a blast listening. I go to Summer Sun myself, but that's okay. What is your name? Come on now. Erica Luzo. Erica? And are you a senior, Erica? Yeah. Okay. And uh, how long have you been cheering? On any level? This is my second year. Third. Well, this is like my first year in high school. Wow. <laughs> if these questions are too tough, let me <laughs> <laughs> No, I had to think about it. Oh, I cheered okay. in seventh and eighth grade, oh, but then... I didn't for all high school until so now. So you've cheered for like three years. Is yeah, that what you're saying? this is my all third right. year. All right, and uh, who's been the big? Who was your biggest influence to get you to uh, become a cheerleader or, or participate cheerleading? Probably my mom, because she like supports whatever I do, and I'm always jumping around in sports, so she always supports me for all that. Do you play other sports? I've played volleyball. I've done track. I've tried basketball, soccer, That's baseball. That's great, though. That's <laughs> what it's about, though, to be able to try everything. Uh, you were part of the cheerleading squad last year, or no? Or is no. It, no, you weren't? All right, as a student, how was last year? One word, describe the championship. Because mm -hmm. you were part of just the student body. You weren't a cheerleader. Mm -hmm. You weren't a football player, obviously. <laughs> um, fabulous. Fabulous. That's great, that's great. All right, now, um, if you... And, and I think this is a good question for you because you've tried a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. If there were younger young ladies listening to this program and they were just going into high school, what words of wisdom would you give them? Um, I would definitely tell them to never give up on their dreams and to always do what they want to do. Even like if they don't think they're good enough for it, to just always try because you never know what will happen. Oh, well, that's good. How about college? Have you thought about college at all? Or? Yeah. Do you know I where have. you're going? or? I don't know exactly what I'm where I'm going to go, but I know what I want to do. What do you want to do? I want to do fashion merchandising. Ooh. All That's right. <laughs> All right. Now, on your bucket list. I want to visit Australia. All right. Down under. Take a walk about it, eh? <laughs> All right. Dinner. Three people. Um, Rachel McAdams, Ryan Reynolds, and Piglet. And who? Piglet. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm way too old. For you you dance, must have a riot I, with these girls. I have I no do. idea. All right, well, thank you very much and good luck in everything in the future. Thank you. All right, Tinkerbell, you're up. What is your name? Marissa Fiala. Marissa? Yeah. I like that name. What's your middle name, Marissa? 
Francis. All right. <laughs> hey, what year are you in school? Sophomore. Sophomore, all right. You're hanging down here with all the seniors, though, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they're seniors. Uh, all right, now, uh, what has been the biggest influence in your life as far as cheerleading at? I would say my mom, because she's always there supporting me through everything. Now, was your mother a former cheerleader or anything, or no? Just... No. Oh, I thought maybe, you know, she just <laughs> thought you should get into it. Uh, what has been the most important thing you've learned from your high experience so far? To always work hard and not, like, to not procrastinate because it does, like, affect everything. All right, let me ask you a question about Kirtland school systems, and I'm not 100% sure on this. You Is the 9th, 10th, and 11th, 12th grade, is that high school, or? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you have freshmen all the way to seniors in there. Yeah. Because some of the schools only have, you know, yeah, they, they. 10th, 11th, and 12th. All right, um, any tips you have for our young listeners at home? Um, to just always work hard and do what you want to do, even if, like, people say you can't. To try to prove them wrong. Right. Well, try to do it for yourself. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Don't care. Oh. All right, now, your bucket list, come on. G give me um, something good. To, I want to be able to say that I lived the life that I wanted to. That's fantastic. Kind of like Frank Sinatra, you want to do it your way. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know who Frank Sinatra is, do you? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Whoa. Nice Does job. anybody here at my show of hands know who Frank Sinatra is? Oh, thank you. All right, now, last, this is it. This is it, and I'm going to get fired. <laughs> Three people okay. coming to dinner. They can be dead or alive. They can be piglets. Okay. <laughs> they can be poor as gum. They can be Miss Piggy, Michael Jackson. I don't care. Three of them. Come on. Um, Wait a minute. John Travolta, too. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Zach Efron, Channing Tatum, and Jesus. Wait a minute. Who was the second one? Uh, Channing Tatum. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Zach Efron. <laughs> what right. is the deal with you? Last but not least. He's a, he's a good actor. We got one yeah. more. Yeah. Got one more. Where you been? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. What is your name? Tori Hausroth. Troy. Tori. Tori. Okay, Tori. You know that was a political part. You guys wouldn't know that either. Never mind. Uh, what year are you in school? Uh, junior. Junior. Hanging with the seniors, though, huh? How long have you cheer uh, been a cheerleader? Six years. Six years? So were you in like middle school or something or just? Sixth grade is when I started competitive cheer. Hold it. Sixth grade is when I started competitive cheer. That's great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, how about college? You, you thinking about that yet or you got another year before you get serious on that? Mm, I don't know. Do you have any idea might you, what you might want to do the rest of your life? Um, not really. You know, this is the best time of your life right now, high school kid. Yeah. There's only one time better, and that's college. It's when your parents aren't around. But anyway, that's, a, that's another story. Uh, who's been the most important person in your life, not only as far as influencing you with cheerleading, but school and just life in itself? Um, my mom. Your mom? Because she's the one that started me in cheerleading. Oh, okay. Now, do you... Uh, did you, have you cheered before high school? Yeah. You have, like, when you were littler on up and that? Um, sixth grade. Oh, okay. You, t you take gymnastics or any of that also, or, or just, it's kind of what your coach teaches you? Competitive cheer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, all right, do you have any advice for young ladies out in the audience that might want to? Um, never give up and always work as a team. That's very, that's very good. Um, how about your bucket list? I want to jump out of an airplane. <laughs> With a parachute? With a parachute. Okay. Well, I, I was waiting for you. I, <laughs> make sure I had a nudge in there a little bit. There. All right, now, past and present, let's get new. Three people, dead or alive, I don't care, we'll bring them back for you, for dinner. My mom, Channing Tatum, and the Easter Bunny. <laughs> All right. All right. The Easter Bunny may have never been said yet. And, Excellent. Whoa. Yeah, that's tremendous. All right. 
we're gonna say, uh, sing a cheer here. Who's gonna lead us? Get, we're, come the on. captains are right here. Get together. Get, get together. Get Let's together. get all together here. The girls, Shirley, come on. Get over there. Shirley's. And football team, I want you at their cheerleading challenge October 1st at the Brobnik's Croatian home, cheering them on. Oh, you're taller than I thought. Oh, you're standing. Here they are, the fabulous Kirtland Hornets. Hornets, be aggressive, let's go. 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 Oh, there was four. All right, let's have it for the Kirtland Hornets. Girls, thanks a million. That was fun. No, that was a lot of fun. Tomorrow, pull it up from 7 to 9 and tape it, or go on Facebook, and uh, I will give you that information here at Mondays with Malta. Just pull that up, and you'll be able to pull up any of our shows, but this one especially. Well, Jay, uh, I'm hoping the uh, golf ball team, if not, um, and there he is. The golf coach is here. And this is really exciting because it's Greg Cosme. Greg, want to put that on for us? Great. That is fantastic. Greg, let's fix that for you. Welcome to the show. And this Thank is Kirtland's you. golf coach, Greg Cosme. Greg, how long have you been a golf coach over there, Kirtland? This is my first year. Yeah, yeah. very good. Where did you go to high school? Uh, I actually went to Kirtland. And uh, I was part of the golf team there when Bruce Gabriel was coach. Okay, very good. Thank you. And I know Bruce. Very, very good. That's excellent. And uh, how about this year's team? How's it going so far? It's going really well. Our record um, is 5-1. and one. Um, the, Actually, tonight we beat uh, Harvey, um, their golf team. Very good. Um, my uh, our, our number one man shot par today at St. Dennis. Wow. So, yeah. So he's been pretty, uh, he's been his pretty name? hot. His name is... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, John Schnur. Okay. John's actually, um, this year, he, he was second in the preseason CBC tournament. Wow. And uh, he shot par twice in matches this year. Already? Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And is he a senior? He's not a senior. Wow. He's going to be back with us next year. Wow, that's a, that's a nice feeling. Yeah. So yeah. five and one, and you got a junior that's leading the team. Right. Okay. We, I've got... Um, I've got four um, seniors. I've got Brad Snyder, whose average right now is a 39.25. And let me tell you, we've played in some pretty tough conditions. And even then... Go ahead. Keep talking. Even then, it's a, it's a 39.25, so that's really great. Um, last year, he was first team CVC in the district qualifier. And uh, what year is he in? He's a senior. Wow. That's we're, great. We're looking for him to, to do big things this year as well. Okay. Um, We've got um, we've got Adam Schiffler. He's been named twice to the CBC um, All Conference team, um, and he's actually the guy who's been named the most times out of our out of our seniors. Wow! Yeah. How many golfers on the team? There's there's uh, six golfers on the team. Um, John Freeze is new for us this year, so you know, but but five really experienced guys. That is fantastic. I've got another junior, uh, Anthony Messner. Um, who, who's really improved this year. His average is 41.5. And, um, and Anthony really has, has done well for us because we really needed that third score, that third uh, dependable score. And then out of our, two of our other guys, we get the fourth. Wow, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Explain to our listeners at home how many play and how many count. Okay, so in uh, a regular golf match, except if there's you know, special rules, um, six golfers play. And then uh, four count. So if you have a tie, if, if your, four, your four scores that you add up tie, um, it goes to the fifth golfer. Okay. Now that's a little bit different in the state competition. Um, we only take, you know, five and four count. Five and four count. Okay. Um, now, uh, uh, do you have um, an assistant coach or not? No, this year we don't have a JV coach. It's just, just me. Just you and mm -hmm. a, just a varsity team? Actually, we have some JVs. Um, they're doing really, really well. I mean, it's tough, like, you know, to have a JV that shoots, you know, a 44 today, you know, and he's in his JV, he's, you know, he's not, <laughs> he's not varsity, is like, is, is a blessing and a curse. You know, you wish that kid could be a, you know, varsity player, right. but at the same time, you know, our, our varsity's just that good this year. Wow, fantastic. 
Um, so, um, where is your home course? We play at St. Dennis. It's uh, up in Chardon, kind of on Route 6. That's not bad. Do they ever let you play over there at Kirtland once in a while? <laughs> that would be next, next door. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, where I caddied when I was a kid, and it was a lot of fun. So, okay, take us to, uh, um, uh, you've got matches that will lead up to the sectionals. Mm -hmm. Okay, then after the sectionals, if they qualify, how many teams will qualify this year? There will be four teams that qualify and four individuals. Okay. And our sectional is a pretty tough one because we've got teams like Orange and Chagrin Falls. Some bigger schools. Yeah, some bigger schools, yeah. We're, we're a smaller school for Division II in our sectional. Now, um, then if they qualify, those qualify for, in the we, sectionals, do you go to a regional or a district? We go to a district, okay. and that district is played at Windmill Lakes, and that's actually a good thing for us because we played at a tournament there this year, and we actually shot really, really well. Um, I think 78, 79, 80, and 82. Wow. So that, that's a really good, I mean, that's a really good score. So hopefully, you know, we can repeat that performance at districts and hopefully, you know. Where, where, where is the sectionals uh, held at? The sectionals is held at Quill Hall. Wow. On the Devlin course, yeah. Well, that's very, very nice. Yeah, very nice. Excellent. And um, um, if you qualify for districts, all right, and you go on from there. Where is that next step? That state. That's, wow, yeah. so there's no regional. There's no so there's, regional. That's state. No regional. And how many teams qualify for state? Um, I don't know the total, but out of our district, I think it's three. Three. And the same amount of kids, too? Three? Yeah, three. Yep. Wow. Well, that's fantastic. Now, um, if they're not playing, are they practicing every day, too? Yeah, right. We practice every day out at St. Dennis if we're not playing a match. You know, I had the opportunity to play both at... Uh, north then at Lakeland uh -huh. and um, for a, a kid that loves golf it was fantastic because you put, we play golf every single day yeah at Lakeland they bought us a, a membership at Chardon Lakes so uh, to get to play Chardon Lakes every day and then they took us all over the country I mean I had it uh, I played uh, against East Tennessee State played against Bobby Watkins oh wow I went as far as uh, Coral. Lakeland had a great golf program Wonderful. and uh our sophomore year, we were 28 no. So, uh, wow. yeah, it was it was a nice ride. It was, it was uh, very nice. And I have to thank my wife, Mary Beth, because she helped me get through college. So that's, I could golf. <laughs> that's awesome. That's great. Well, we're at the bottom of the hour, hour Greg. Tell the guys, I said, best of luck. And I really uh, appreciate you coming on and, and, and letting us know about it. And uh, tell them they can hear it on the air tomorrow and hear their names, and it'll be pretty cool. Or download it on www.wlw.com. Thank you so much. All right, Greg Cosme from the Kirtland Hornets. You're listening to Mondays with Malta and Jay Batung, too. We are the Talk of the Town, AM 1330, WELW. Don't forget, tomorrow between 7 and 9 o'clock, we will be on the air promoting this wonderful restaurant at Cleats. And, uh... Come on down and watch Monday Night Football. We'll be right back after this short break. The big summer sell-off is underway at Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. Thousands of cars and trucks with the best sale prices, rebates, and discounts. The best time to buy is right now. Nobody has more or sells more than Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. At Pat O'Brien Chevrolet, you'll find two things that make car buying fast and easy. The biggest selection of any dealer in Ohio and upfront pricing that takes the hassles out of buying. So don't waste your time or money. Come to Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. Need a sign that you're headed in the right direction? Just look for the new sign across from the News Herald in Willoughby. The Carpet Guy is offering first-time carpet buyers a good savings. Mention WELW and receive an extra 10% off your purchase. If you flip homes or own rental units, the Carpet Guy will beat the best carpet price. Call Mike Simon, 440-796-9036 or visit the Carpet Guy across from the News Herald. The Carpet Guy, your new sign for a great deal. Did you ever put in a new faucet and flood the kitchen? <laughs> or reverse the connections and your shower and hot was cold and cold was hot? Everyone has their own plumbing horror story. But no matter what plumbing story you have, Tom Schaefer Plumbing can fix your drip or disaster. For over 80 years, Tom Schaefer Plumbing has been your trusted plumber with reliable service. Because accidents happen. Call Tom Schaefer Plumbing, 440-602-7300. 7300 why go to the Y? You can challenge yourself, indulge yourself, or have wonderful family fun. 
YMCA's pool offers Aqua Cardio Challenge, deep water jogging, gym and swim, or silver splash for silver sneakers. Let your creativity flow with ballet for adults, creative story time for kids, or cooking magic classes. Get in physical and mental shape with Absolutions, a core workout for abdominals and lower back, yoga, meditation, Pilates, thighs, butts and guts workout, or boot camps for sports and strength conditioning. Programs that build healthy spirit, mind, and body for everyone. Visit LakeCountyYMCA.org. Welcome back. Charlie Malt alongside Jay Batung. Jay, that was a lot of fun. That was an hour and a half of fun. That's a hoot. Um, I enjoy it. I'll tell you what, I've always said that uh, I, I think probably one of the best jobs, at least in my mind, would be working at a university. Maybe not as a professor or anything, but I don't care, maintenance, part of the administration. I think that would be a job that would keep you forever young. Uh, just being around young people all the time. And I guess maybe the next best job would be in a high school. You're around those young people, you, you get to, to see and kind of the new sayings, the new fads, the new, you know. Sure. It, it just keeps you young. I, I just enjoy young people so much. I think they're just the hoot to be around. Well, we're going to get back to that. I, let's talk a little bit about our sponsors. We're so lucky again to have all our sponsors back. d and Goods, Dan Phillips, owner-operator, 440-342-2002. d and will handle all your team needs. And you know, let, me, to silk screening. let me add that. Dan's opening up a new showroom, showroom real soon. Where's that going to be? Uh, it's... Uh, there's a strip mall right next to Panini's in Willoughby there, and he's down around back. Uh, they're just, uh, he's loading his inventory up in that, but I know he's going to have a nice showroom down in there. People can walk in and so on. So. That, that is fantastic. You know, and, uh, you know, Dan, Dan can even made this shirt that I have on, and, and he can get to any of your needs. Give him a call at 440-342-2002. Pepco Jack Borky, owner-operator located at 33210 Lakeland Boulevard. Pepco is a wholesaler distributor of electrical data, telecommunications, utility, and high voltage. You can reach Pepco's East Lake office, 440-946-3790. Jack will be programming our November 12th show right here. Clements Construction, Mike Clements, owner-operator, 440-951-2033. If you need roof repairs, a reputable, honest company, call Clements Construction. For 20 years, owner Mike Clements is on the job to solve every roofing problem, including yours. Check out one of his outstanding jobs at 297-31 Fairway or 345 IT in Willowick. At 345, the uh, resident came out and told me, Jay, said, Dan did my ro roof, uh, not Dan, Mike. Mike did my roof at the house we used to live at when I was a kid, and he did a fabulous job, and he's still up there on the roof now. I'll tell you, I built a new home uh, 12 years ago now, and I, I wouldn't even think, I, 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 it wasn't a second thought he was going to do the roof. Tremendous job. Uh, and I, I know other people, I've given him people's names over the years. They perhaps had a, a leakage problem in their roof, and they had had roofers out, couldn't find it, couldn't take care of it. Mike takes care of it every time. No question about it. Matrix Tool Machine, Rich Wilson, I think you got a chance to meet him at the Broadmoor Show, Jay, that you help us out with every, each and every year. Rich, uh, just a great guy, made a huge donation that night. Rich is the owner-operator, proud sponsors of Mondays with Malta, Mentor High School Sports, and Mentor Middle School Lacrosse. You can reach Rich at 440-255-0300. Rich also is a huge supporter of Lake Catholic's Chinese auction. That's a heck of an auction. Have you ever been to that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Over a thousand people. And the soccer club, uh, our soccer team uh, puts that on, and it's always a great, great uh, event. I'll tell you, they do a heck of a job. They, uh, you know, as everybody needs, fundraising is a big part of, of athletics in high school anymore. Uh, you know, so many schools right now are in, uh, the one that comes to mind is Riverside. What the pay for play is out there, it's just, especially for football, it's, it, to me, it's astronomical. Uh, and it's a shame, but I guess it's the times we live in. I, I don't know. And a, a lot of them are changing it to, it's not pay to play now, it's pay to participate. Because when you go to pay for play, that insinuates, well, if I pay, my child should play as much as anybody else. Right. And as we all know, once you get up to that level of, of high school, it's not that way anymore, you know, so. No question about it. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just a different era nowadays. You know, the, the, uh, the, a lot of kids aren't playing as sports as much. The, the electronics that they're so involved in, um, they don't want to organize a sport, whatever the case may be, but it's good to see we've got some, a lot of healthy kids playing them. Yeah, you know, and, and right along those lines, I think, I, I think sometimes maybe 
we start the kids a little bit too young in, in organized sports. I can remember growing up, uh, you know, when it was when you were old enough, you, you went out for Little League and you had to make the team. You didn't automatically make it. And uh, I mean, growing up, we would play ball on the street or we'd find an empty lot to play in. We'd just use a tennis ball. And of course, there were always disputes, but we didn't have umpires, so we'd argue for five minutes, and then it would come out, well, okay, we get the next close call. So, uh, you know, sometimes I think children are, are, I don't want to say cheated of that experience, but I think that was a, a big part of growing up. You know, you had to deal with those selves one-on-one -on -one and, and interact with your own peers. And, you know, we have umpires for kids, we have parents that are involved, and sometimes I don't think the kids get the opportunity to to have that luxury of, you know, and I don't want to say fighting your own battles, but working it out maybe themselves. It's, yeah. always, it's all done for them. Yeah, that's so true. I mean, we made up our own games. We used to flip cards against the church wall. Oh. We, we throw, or throw a ball to the square, and that would be, you know, if you threw and, and, and caught it when one bounce, uh, would be an out. I mean, it was, it was all kind of different games. How about $3? Did you ever play oh. that? Maybe three dollars, and you know what else? I remember playing. You might only had eight guys, and we go, "Well, how can we play baseball?" We had to call the field you were going to hit to, and if you hit to another field, you're automatically out. And pitcher's mound was the same as first base. I mean, we we always found a way around things, and now it's, you know, I think sometimes kids get burned out because they've been playing organized sports, and they have to be there, and they have to be at the game, and they have to be at practice. Uh, sometimes I, I don't know if we, we, we let the, the young people anymore be kids. So. And that's what they need. They need just to be kids. That's a great point. I'll tell you one of my best experiences, as, as you well know, because uh, you kind of hooked me up with it. I do the, uh, the Young Instructional Basketball League in Willowick. And uh, I believe it's like second and third grade, maybe first, second, and third grade. And uh, one of the best things they do is they don't keep score. And we just have a ball. The officials... The officials help the kids, uh, you know, we'll stop the game and tell them about different things, about double dribbling. We kind of help coach as, uh, as we're officiating the game. And the parents take it so great. I mean, it's just so much fun. And everybody seems to enjoy it. But I guess as soon as we start keeping score, things kind of get a little bit uh, more competitive and so on. So. Well, you know what? Sometimes the parents live through their kids. And, and, you know, there's no question about that. And that's the problems we seem to be having at, at some of those venues. But we've got some great recreation departments. You mentioned Willowick. I'm a councilman there. And uh, we have a facility like none other in Lake County. And uh, once we brought basketball there, we left Willow Junior High with 77 kids. Now we have 500 kids involved. It's an incredible facility. Plus, Julie Kress, Julie Kless, the recreation director there, you know, she has upwards of 40 different events. I mean, you just think a uh, basketball court, she's got 40 different things going on all month long. Programs, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think they're for all ages. Uh, There's no question about it. From, from three years old all the way to, you know, they're walking in the morning, the senior citizens. Yeah. I, it, I mean, it's great. And it's great that the cities are offering that to... Uh, not only the young people in the community, but also the seniors, like you said. Talking a little bit about uh, our um, coaches, we had Tiger here. Tiger um, is going into the this year at 62 wins and 12 losses. I mean, that's pretty incredible. Well, and again, and I and I, I meant this sincerely to him. Because uh, I, I went, I went to uh, St. Joe's. Back then, it was just St. Joe's, uh, a private school or parochial school. And my uh, my son and daughter both went to Lake Catholic. And you know, over the years, my friends have had their kids in public school. We've always had that debate or argument or however you want to put it about. Well, you know, you guys can go out and recruit anybody and so on and so forth. Well, I'll tell you, there's very few kids in the Mentor area that leave the Mentor program to come to Lake Catholic anymore. Mm -hmm because they have offered a, a product there. I mean, and it's, it's Trevisano and his coaching staff and the administration over there have done a tremendous job building that program. Year in and year out, they're, when you say Division I football, they're mentioned in that, in that uh, conversation. And, uh, and again, like I, I told Tiger, and I, I was so sincere when I meant that, you know, I'll bet he doesn't have many kids going anywhere because they are to offer. 
And, and uh, again, we, we talked about parents earlier. It's they, every parent wants to do the best they can for their kid. And uh, I think sometimes in a, a particular, say, uh, school system, maybe the athletic program, no matter what it is, whether it be boy or girl or cr track, cross country, volleyball, basketball, football, uh, they don't think their child will get the, the afford the exposure or, or whatever to be recognized perhaps for a scholar college scholarship. Right. And they in turn wind up sending them to maybe a higher profile school, St. Ignatius or whatever. And uh, the, to me, in, in a public school system now, to have that product and keep your kids there, it's tremendous. And if you do that, you're going to keep the kids. There's no question about it. You know, um, I mentioned Tiger 62. It's 11, not 12. So that's what an incredible record. Three more wins this year. He's 65 and 11. We, you talked about Coach Trevisano, and he entered his 16th year this year. He's got 122 wins. He added two more. So he's 124 against 52 losses. And uh, that's quite, it says quite a lot. Mike Bell, in his 11th year, he's got 86 wins and 38 losses. Another high profile program and a lot of wins. And, and, and it's you're, any more now, like you said about Menner, you expect Lake and Menner to be good because they've been good each and every year. These two guys have been uh, head coaches. Um, North, uh, in four years, George is uh, a good friend of ours. He's 16 and 23. Um, Matt Rosati, who uh, is at Perry, came over from West G. He's been there five years now. He's 36 and 19. And Dave Bores at Riverside, you talked about Dave. He's 7 and 13. You know, um, the byproduct from having a good program, you get a uh, Jeff Grubach who goes over to Kinston. He was one of your coordinators at Mentor. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know that, that you've coached, and uh, that's got to make you feel like you're doing something right when they come asking for your coaches. Well, look at Jimmy Fox from South. Jimmy Fox, you mentioned another good one. He's he's now the head coach at uh, is it Brunswick? Nordonia. Nordonia, and uh, I mean he he put his time in uh, under uh, Duffy, and I mean there's guy there's another guy who has a great program, Duffy, and uh, Pinto up at Mayfield. You know, these guys all have programs now, and you don't see many of their kids going anywhere. They, they, why should they? They've got where, what they want there, you know. And I think that's so important. Instead of, you know, sometimes people complaining about, well, why are the kids going there and going there and uh, the parochial schools, the private schools can recruit. Take care of business at home, and they won't go anywhere. That's right. Matt Duffy's uh, entering his 10th year at South. Can't believe he's been there 10 years already. He's 68 and 30. You mentioned uh, Larry Pinto, a good friend of the show, is a good friend of mine, and they just opened that new facility, which I hope someday East Lake North and Willoughby South will get. I know they both won't get one, but it'll be nice to get one of them. Well, you know, Mayfield is a tremendous example of the city and the school board working together. You know, everybody or a lot of people have the misconception that the school boards and, and the, uh, the cities are one and the same, and, and they're not. They're very separate. Uh, as far as levies and, and tax dollars and everything. And uh, Mentor partnered up with the city and the school to build their indoor facility up there. Uh, they have a beautiful, beautiful field house. Uh, I think maybe there's uh, at, at least three basketball courts in there. Uh, they have an indoor track and so on. And I, I, my understanding is they did the same thing with the stadium complex up. So, uh, you know, and, and I've always wondered, even, even on the national level, I mean, there's some states that if you're a resident in the state for so long, uh, your child can go to school almost free. In, in, in Georgia, you can yeah. go to, if you keep a yeah. B average in high school, you yeah. go to college for free. And, and I, I've often wondered, well, why don't these other, why doesn't Ohio or someone else, I mean, Ohio, of course, I'm mainly concerned with, why doesn't Ohio go down there and say, hey, how do you guys do this? You know, maybe we could do this. Mm -hmm. and. You know, it, it's a sad state of affairs in Ohio because, I, I mean, I have two kids. I love them dearly. They both live in California because if you're not in the medical field here, there isn't a whole lot going on in Ohio. It's, it's tough to find a job, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah, so you I know, don't know. Uh, I uh, failed to mention Tim Willis. He's entering his 13th season at Madison, and he's done very well over there at 77 and 48. 
So uh, the coach is around uh, this area, and I got a tip of my head to Mars Porcello, who's been on the show a number of times. Mars, in his first season at Wycliffe, 5-5, five and five, which is a step in the right direction. But my feeling, Wycliffe should be in the Metro Conference, not in the CVC with the Auroras and the Chagrin, Chagrin uh, Falls. It's just they're two bigger schools where Wycliffe is such a small, small right. school. You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. What, what much needed... Next year, that seventh division in high school football. What do you think about that, Jay? Well, you know, I, I, I guess so. I mean, because South would be t uh, in Division Two next year, along with Mayfield too, because they're, they're right at about the, the bare minimum for the number of yeah, kids. They're, they're at 450. Down. Yet Ed's and St. Ignatius are at 1,200. Solon's at 900. I mean, that's and when you say you they're got to compete, and, and that's the number boys. of boys. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're. And again, there's tradition and there's everything involved there. But, you know, Mayfield, I, I, their community is behind them. I mean, it's just like Kirtland. I, I know Larry Pino's wife, Joanne, and uh, that community, I mean, Prince T-shirts, well, they sell all kind of apparel. Uh, they just had a, a commemorative T-shirt they were selling at the, the opening Saturday night uh, of their, you know, inaugural game in the new stadium. And I mean that community is behind them. It's kind of like a a, a, a larger scale of the Kirtland to some respect, you know. I'll, to, I'll step on your toes here, and they Go make the, the best broadcast dog in high school football. Oh boy! <laughs> Which I mean, is my leading question, Jay? You wear many hats, excuse me, hats like myself. Take us on a Saturday morning. Maybe it starts Friday night to get the concession stand ready for Lake Catholic, which you run. Well, I'll tell you what, um, six years when Lake Catholic first started playing at, at Menor Stadium, uh, the Menor Boosters used to take care of the concessions for both games. Um, then uh, we, we got a president over at Lake Catholic, Chuck Roman, and he says, you know, how come we don't get those, you know? So he contacted Jackie Hoynes, and they got together, and uh, our athletic director, Sam Colicaro, and myself, uh, being the head of the Boosters at the time, their boosters, uh, their athletic director, we got together and we worked out a deal where Lake Catholic would have the concessions at Lake Catholic games. Um, and, and those, the, the boosters at, at, at uh, Menor have just been so good to me uh, because I'm basically the, the pipeline now to Lake Catholic mm -hmm. with them. Um, and uh, there's a couple of gals, Kathy and uh, Jane, and they were just tremendous. And now they have a new guy, Al Davis, and not course I, I know Al. all right and uh he does it for him now but uh it, it's uh you know i give him my order each week uh for my hot dogs we sell the same inventory and everything um and i we sell different hot dogs we have the uh uh we have different pizza than them but uh basically it's it, it it's all one operation and uh you know like tomorrow usually on a tuesday we get the pop order in and we got to put that away. And uh, Al's really good. I, I tell him, you know, sometimes I'll help him pick stuff up from Sam's Club or whatever, the candy and so on. But uh, usually on a Saturday or the game day, I'm there about 4 o'clock, about 4 o'clock uh, getting everything ready. And then I have a, a couple of students from Lake Catholic who get service hours come up and help me prep the stands, ice things down, get the different uh, broilers working and coffee going and that. And then uh, I have a per two people, one uh, kind of oversees each stand. Uh, Melanie Zepp is, is one, and Bill, uh, oh, man, can't remember, Billy, his kids play hockey. But anyway, Bill, you know who you are. They kind of oversee that, so um, it's a they work, do it. They, it's a team effort. Yes, and then the different booster clubs are scheduled. They volunteer to work I know the soccer clubs there a lot. Yeah, I yeah, see. yeah. And, and now this year, I, I have an added duty. Uh, I take care of uh, scheduling the program sellers, the ticket sellers, the ticket takers, and everything for the games, too. So it's, it's pretty involved. busy. Oh, there's pretty no busy. question about it. Let's talk a little bit about week four coming up in the football season. And that has Cuyahoga Heights going to uh, Hardy, West G at Harvey, Kirtland at Newberry, University at Madison, Mayfield at Menor. How do you like that one? Wow. Uh, Mayfield won another big game last week and sit at 2-1. and one. Their only loss being to South. North at Chardon, uh, Lakeside at Riverside, J. 
Geneva at South, the South Machine just rolling along. Orange at Perry and Kenston at Wycliffe. Um, Saturday night game, which I am doing on the radio right here. You can log on uh, to www.wlw.com or listen to us live at 1330 a.m. And that is Erie PA Cathedral Prep versus Lake Catholic. And that should be a pretty good ball game. Coach Bell says this may be the best team they've played so far. So it's going to be a kind of an interesting game. You'll be kind of busy, but I'm sure you'll get an eye or two in on that field there. Yeah, they're, they got, the, first of all, they got a, a, a very formidable opponent this weekend in the Erie Prep team. Plus, uh, as we talked about earlier, they've been uh, hit pretty hard by injuries and injuries to key people. So uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see. Um, I think, uh, well, Mike Bell's son is a junior, Dylan. He's the backup quarterback, so I, I believe he was in, got in last game, too, after uh, Mark uh, got hurt. I'm not sure on that, but I know he'll be starting a quarterback this week. And uh, I, I think Dylan's more of a thrower than Mark was. So I don't know. See if a little bit different offense. Yeah, I don't know if, if, you know, they'll have time to retool or they'll try to run the same offense they've had where, I mean, if anybody's seen Lake Catholic's game, uh, Mark Banowitz has been the featured, uh, the featured ball carrier. No question about it. I want to remind everybody again about that Touchdown Club uh, banquet on uh, sa uh, Sunday night, November 25th, and also the East Lake North Hall of Fame banquet, which is September 22nd. And uh, um, if you need more information about either one of those, you can either get a hold of Sam Kukera for the uh, Touchdown Club banquet, which will honor all the kids in the area. I believe your son was one of, won one of those prestigious awards. Yeah, he was uh, Student Athlete of the Year one year. And that is a fabulous award. And uh, um, we'll be there, uh, Ray Malavik and myself, Mondays with Malta team. And uh, if you need tickets for the Hall of Fame banquet, you can get a hold of me, Charlie Malta, at 440-943-0222. Along with our show tonight, um, my uh, youngest, Charlie the Juice Man, um, Tape the show. You'll get to see it on uh, Facebook, parts of the show here tonight. And some of the websites he said that to log in to catch Mondays with Malta. The Twitter is twitter.com, Malta on Mondays. That is twitter.com, Malta on Mondays. Tumblr is tumblr.com, Mondays with Malta. So that's tumblr, T-U-M-B-L-R, dot com, Mondays with Malta. And... Facebook, Mondays with Malta and Ray Malavik. And, you know, Charlie is on the, just the cusp of the social media. And, and for him helping me like this, taking a couple hours of his night, helping his dad, and, and getting that out, uh, we've got a number of new followers because of it. And I appreciate that, uh, Charlie, very, very much. And you'll see him at all our shows. And um, next week. We'll be at Mama Roberto's for our volleyball show, and then we'll have six schools. We'll have Riverside and Gilmore, Lake Catholic, Mentor High, East Lake North, and the South Rebels. So uh, if you'd like to come out and see uh, the very brand new party center over there at the Mama Roberto's, have you been in that yet? Oh, Jay? yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Rick, uh, every once in a while they have uh, kind of a dinner, dinner theater thing. Uh, my wife and I uh, got to go to one of them. They had a Frank Sinatra I heard, I heard guy. The, I heard the Elvis Presley is something I, else. I want to go see Elvis, yeah. Uh, like I say, it's a, it's a nice dinner. It's $25 a person. And uh, they always they have different meals. The night we were there, I think they had uh, maybe uh, chicken parmesan and chicken marsala. You have your pick of that. And, uh, of course, the salad, the rolls, the whole thing that goes with it. Um, and they, uh, they have a different menu every, for every performance or different people come in. They, uh, they have the Frank Sinatra guy, then they have a, a Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra, and then they have Alvis. And they mentioned they were trying to get Johnny Cash when I was out there one day talking to Rick. I don't know, you know if that's going to come off or not, but uh, they said that they had been talking to somebody about a Johnny Cash tribute type thing. You know, I'd like to thank, uh, we have a lot of listeners that tune in every single Monday. Um, one is the ex-police chief of East Lake, Gary Fink. Uh, you may know him. Yeah, Gary, I do. Gary, a great guy. He actually came to the post office one day and asked for Charlie Malta. He just wanted to meet me. It really made me feel uh, uh, important. Gary, just a great uh, police chief at, at his time in East Lake, now retired. 
We actually did, there was a contest in, uh, I know Glenn loves contests. Uh, we actually did a contest in the News Herald called the Tricky Tribe Trivia. And Alan Parrish is probably smiling, another one that loves contests. And uh, Gary, we get down to the last answer or two and we call each other. So thank, thank Gary for tuning in every single Monday. Chris Harold, and uh, Chris is uh, uh, just a great guy, dear friend of uh, Ray Malavich. He, ch he, he chimes in and listens every single Monday night. Ed Herman, who uh, um, at East, he's over there at East Lake North, and he also listens every single Monday night. And my wife, Mary Beth, who tapes every show and is my biggest critic, and I appreciate her taping and listening and always giving us pointers. It says six pointers. I'm sure she's given me as many as that on the radio here tonight. You know, tonight, uh, being at Cleats, and we had a nice crowd, uh, and we got to see the Kirtland Hornets. It, it uh, entering our 10th year, it's just hard to believe. I think you were at one of those first shows where we were on a remote. You may have been on that first remote at Help for Christ Look Women. Well, you know what? I, I think, I think, I don't know if, you, if this counts as the 10 years, but you used to be more of a talk show yes. with, with uh, right. questions and trivia and different topics. Uh, I remember being on there er, at, early at, on. at the station. Yeah. Oh, and then, yeah. And then yeah. we went to that first remote, and since that remote, a different restaurant or bar has picked yeah. up every show. Yeah. So we've been very fortunate. I can't thank Cleats enough. They've been fabulous. Our sponsors to make this thing go, b and Goods, Pepco, Clements Construction, Matrix Tool, Mentor Family Foods, Forenza Stone. Oh, what a showroom. $30,000 bathroom, located at 37033 Vine. Go in and see it. See Mike and Missy Fimiani. Judy Moran for Commissioner and Kramer Printing. You know Lenny real well. Say a couple words about him. Well, Lenny's kind of like uh, the nutty professor of printing to me. I mean, he, he has to get every... And, and, I, he's always getting new technology. I mean, if you look at some of these local programs that he does, uh, they're just blue, the, the, the colors are beautiful. So many color photos. I know for Lake Catholic, he always has uh, in the insert, not an insert, but like a fold out. He has the uh, visiting team's band and their whole team picture. So he does a great job. Pick up one of those uh, programs at Lake Catholic. Also again, the websites, Twitter, Dot com, Malta on Mondays, Tumblr.com, Mondays with Malta, and Facebook, Mondays with Malta and Ray Malavik. For Charlie Malta, for Jay Batung, for my good buddy Glenn Foley, who couldn't, we couldn't do the show without him. What a great guy. He's just fabulous. Juice Man, you can reach him at www.juiceman, G-U-I-C-E-M-A-N-N.com. Check out his shoes. And for Alan Parrish back at the station, thank you. Thank you very much for listening in. We are the Talk of the Town AM 1330. This is Mondays with Malta and WELW. We'll be right, we'll be right back next week on Monday, live from Mama Roberto's. Thanks, and have a safe drive home.